This is a Petri dish. Our experiment consists of putting bacteria on two different sorts of powders, chromogenic medium and a standard nutrient agar. Afterwards, we will see how the bacteria expand and replicate in the two different kinds of powders and compare. Before we start the experiment, I want to explain how we made the Petri dishes. First, we prepared on a table all the materials, empty Petri dishes, little goblets, some um, empty too, a spatula and uh, little sticks. We used two different types of powders, the chromogenic medium, invented by Alain Rombach, and the standard nutrient agar. We measured the um, powder in two different uh, flasks. Um, the first one is the chromogenic medium with a green round sticker, and the other one is the um, standard powder without the sticker. So here you can see the two of them. And then we boiled uh, in water the two, uh, the two powders, so at 100 degrees. Then we took out, we took off the, the plastic from the petri dishes and poured the liquids, the two different liquids in the petri dishes. So here, the, here is the nutrient agar and here is the chromogenic medium. These are empty flasks. We are going to collect fishies and food samples to put in them. Here are some fish eggs which we will put in the flask and then put on the petri dish afterwards. And here is some salami that we will put in the, in the um, little container too. Next, we are going to look for animal fishies. Oh, here are some pigeon ones. Oh, here is perhaps dog poop. <laughs> Oh, it's dry. Maybe it. Okay, here are some of our samples. Fish eggs, salamis, dog fishy, and pigeon fishy. So these are the test um, petri dishes. So these two are with uh, the nutrient agar and these two with the chromogenic. Here we'll do the experiment with the salami. Put the... Um, uh, uh, Put this on the, the top and um, rub it on the petri plates. Okay, so now we're going to do the experiment with fish eggs. So now we're going to do it with pigeon feces. We're gonna squish to be able to get more of the bacteria. Hopefully this will be the most um, colonizing, colonized bacteria, yes. Okay, now we're going to do it with dog feces. Um. It doesn't smell really good.
Okay, so now we're gonna do the experiment except of our fingers to see the bacteria which can be, which come from our hands. And we'll do like smiley faces. the petri plates finished with all the bacteria in it and we will wait uh, three four days to see how they colonize so these are the chromogenic medium and these are the um, standard nutrient agar and we are going to put them in a room with no light for, uh, um, at 20 30 degrees and here are the petri dishes 24 hours later And 48 hours later, you can see that bacteria have developed on both mediums. Let's take a closer look at the nutrient agar. You can see that bacteria have developed, but you can't see them really well. And in the chromogenic medium, you can see that bacteria have developed in different colors depending on what we put in the petri dishes. And here is a close-up of bacteria developed from dog feces sample. And on the chromogenic media, the color blue indicates bacteria called Enterococcus. And here, the color mauve indicates the presence of bacteria called Escheria shecoli. Each isolated colony derives from the growth of the single bacteria, which divides into two bacteria every hour. After two days, there are about 10 billion identical bacteria in each colony, visible with the naked eye. Thus, the use of the microscope is not necessary when using petri dishes. Thank you for watching.